What is up? This is your LA in a minute, and I'm here at a McDonald's. World famous, just like their origin story. San Bernardino, Route 66. But what if I told you that the real McDonald's origin story happened right here in Los Angeles, at an airport? What? Let's get into it. After striking out in the movie industry, the McDonald brothers' first foray into the food business was in oranges. In the 1930s, fresh squeezed orange juice was considered an elixir. It was also something of a novelty, and the McDonald brothers had the idea to sell all you could drink orange juice for five cents. The brothers cut a deal with Sunkiss to buy the fruit that had fallen from the trees at the local orange groves for about a penny a dozen. They sold the juice at a stand called the Giant Orange right in the back there at the Monrovia Airport. By the way, this is the only existing picture of the Giant Orange. Juice business was fine, but they wanted to expand, so they added 10-cent hamburgers and hot dogs to the menu, borrowed some lumber, and crafted a more robust, octagonal-shaped open-air food stand. Along with their father, Patrick, they opened this octagonal food stand formally, and they called it the Airdrome. This is a picture of the Airdrome from overhead in 1939, right there at the bottom corner of the Monrovia Airport. They tasted success with the Airdrome, but being in an airport limited their success. So they eyeballed a larger market and expanded business. So by 1940, they moved the entire octagonal building to San Bernardino. And in the larger market, they had to pivot again. So they de-emphasized the juice and focused on the hot dogs, hamburgers, and what would become their main menu item, barbecue. So with the same building, they built a huge sign and called the new business McDonald's Barbecue. The new model at McDonald's Barbecue included car hops. They had 20 car hops on staff who would deliver the food direct to the customer's car. And the food kept them coming back. There was a steady flow of customers and the parking lot had room for 125 vehicles and was filled to capacity at all hours. Despite the success in 1948, the McDonald brothers made the bold decision to step back and reassess the business. And they closed their doors to focus strictly on their biggest profitable item, hamburgers. The decision was pragmatic. In order to speed up service, they slashed the menu from 25 items to nine, and they eliminated the pricey and time-consuming barbecue. They got rid of the car hops and lowered cost, and perhaps most historically, renamed the restaurant simply McDonald's. And it wasn't until 1953 that they started franchising the restaurant and creating the first of those golden arches. And McDonald's didn't really become a worldwide phenomenon until 1961 when they were bought out by Roy Kroc and became something resembling the McDonald's of today. So McDonald's became McDonald's in San Bernardino, but the true origin of McDonald's happened right here in Los Angeles. All right, LA, it's been a minute.